Research shows more people die from heart attacks during the last week of December than any other time of the year. Holiday heart syndrome is a known observed phenomenon in the medical community and here to talk with us more about it is Dr. Herb Arano. He is a cardiologist at Henry Ford Health. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with us, doctor. Hi, Kim. It's really nice to be here. Absolutely. So tell, tell us, what is it that actually triggers the increase in heart attacks during this time of year? This is a really great question. We know for sure this happens. We know that there are more heart attacks and more sudden death at this time of the year, especially around the holidays and, and especially on Mondays. And this year it's a double whammy with Christmas falling on a Monday. There are a lot of theories about why that is. Uh, a lot of things happen over weekends and happen over holidays that could lead to an increased risk of, of heart issues. For example, uh, we tend to overindulge when it comes to what we eat or what we drink. We may be a little bit more active than we usually are, and uh, the holidays can be stressful. Uh, so all of those things combined can lead to worse outcomes. But I think what we worry about most is that patients and just people in general sometimes will avoid care over the holidays or over weekends. They may be having fun, spending time with friends and family. They may put off symptoms or ignore them and then wait until the week starts. And sometimes coming in sooner rather than later can be better can lead to a better outcome. Sure. Is there any age group that's more susceptible to this condition? I think uh, we all know that heart disease is more common as people age, but we can start to see heart attacks and sudden death even in people who are in their 40s and 50s. So I wouldn't want to give your audience a, a false sense of security that it, if you're not in your 70s or 80s or 90s, that somehow you're immune from this. I think everyone needs to be on the lookout, uh, needs to do everything they can to prevent heart disease, but also everything they can to respond if they have symptoms suspicious for heart disease. Sure. And speaking of reducing the risk, what can people do to try to prevent a heart attack? Well, there are a lot of things that you can do to prevent a heart attack. Uh, it starts out with stress management. You need to make sure that you have an outlet. You have some way to deal with the day to day anxieties that we all encounter. Uh, there's exercise and the American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes a week of that. Uh, and then, of course, there's a heart healthy diet. All of those combined can reduce the chance of a heart attack. All simple things that we can do. And I think one of the most important things that you said is we get so busy during this time of year where we're running and maybe we don't stop to take our medication or go to the doctor when we you know feel a certain way which brings me to the next question what are some of the symptoms what 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 kind of things should we look out for one of the most challenging uh, aspects of heart disease is that it can present in a whole host of ways some people might develop true chest pressure or or a heaviness in the chest and that's kind of textbook but many people will get shortness of breath or maybe some jaw pain or neck pain or arm pain, or maybe they just feel this overwhelming sense of fatigue that they haven't had before. So there are a lot of different ways that it can rear its head. And if it's something out of the ordinary for you, you should be checked out. Dr. Arano, thank you so much for taking time to talk to our viewers and uh, happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. Great to be here and take care. Take care.